What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS Sequoia 15.0.12 everyone. And in this video I'll be showing you guys new inside the software. We got a couple things to talk about, let's get started. On my M1 MacBook Air, it came in at 1.42 gigabytes. Now let's talk about the changes. Alright, so the first change has to do with messages. So if somebody sent you a watch face on macOS 15.0, and then you were to just reply to it and says anything, messages would just crash with you and the sender of the watch face. So that was a pretty critical bug inside of macOS 15, but that has fortunately been fixed for everyone. And no matter what you did, you could not make messages not just crash like that. You just had to like clear out the message out completely in order for you to just go inside of messages. Now next fix has to do with system extensions. So people would get these pop-ups a lot and some certain system extensions would just error out. And you would just need to go all the way into settings and then privacy and security to try to fix them just for them to just crash again. So Apple did mention in the release notes of 15.0.1 that they have improved compatibility with security apps. This is exactly what they're talking about. The system extension errors that just pop up. So fortunately that has been fixed. And now the next change is that we had a little minor Safari update. So we're now on 18.0.1 and that just improves and that just improves security a little bit. However, we do not have any other security updates inside this latest release. Everything seems the same. iPhone mirroring is the same. Widgets are the same. We still have the issue with app group containers as you can see right here. And we also still have the monthly pop-ups for screen recording. So that is a little bit annoying that we still have those. But fortunately, most of those have been fixed inside of Mac Mac OS 15.1, which we will be talking about here right now. All right, when can Mac OS 15.0.1 release to everyone? Now I have a theory. So I think we're gonna get a new beta here on the week of the 6th right here, and then another beta here on the 13th, and then I would expect an Apple event here on either the 21st or the 22nd. The reason why I say an Apple event is because we are expecting some brand new Macs to come out, and the software that's gonna ship on those Macs is gonna be macOS 15.1. So that is why I say on the week of the 20th is when we'll get the RC, the same day as the Apple event, potentially after the Apple event. And then here on the week of the 27th is when I would expect Mac OS 15.1 to release to everyone. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's gonna release to everyone here on the 28th. That is what I would expect next to come from Apple. We could also get a Mac OS 15.0.2, which, which would be a little bit interesting. I do not think we're gonna get that at all, so I'm just not gonna predict that. But yeah, that is everything that we have inside this latest release of Mac OS Sequoia. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. There's all my apps in the description down below, Willy Wedges and Willy Study, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!